In vitro fertilisation, or IVF, is a process of fertilisation where an egg is combined with a sperm outside their normal biological context, or in vitro. This process involves monitoring and stimulating the ovulation process, removing an ovum from the female and letting a sperm fertilise it in a liquid in the laboratory. In humans, IVF is used for a variety of purposes, such as if a woman's fallopian tubes are damaged, male infertility, ovulation disorders, advanced maternal age, or any other condition that may prevent the release of eggs. IVF is also used in agriculture, and genetics have enabled the identification of animals that will produce higher quality meat, milk, or wool. An understanding of genetics and breeding strategies allow for the production of livestock that are more suited to the environmental conditions, leading to more environmentally sustainable farming practice. There are positives and negatives for this practice, and it is a contentious issue in the agricultural community. Advantages include that assisted reproduction technologies are revolutionising livestock farming and increasing profitability. Technologies such as artificial insemination and superovulation combined with IVF allow the breeding of animals with optimal genetics at far faster rates than is possible using natural mating. This can also be further enhanced by testing embryos and ensuring that only embryos with a superior production value will be transferred. The disadvantages of IVF in agriculture are that it can be cost prohibitive and success rates can be low. The high cost and maintenance of recipient females, it requires a technician to, with skills to flush embryos from the reproductive tract and the possible spread of disease through its recipients. These advantages and disadvantages paint a picture of the impact IVF could have on agriculture, possibly improving the sustainability and efficiency of the production process, however causing it to become more expensive and difficult to produce. Overall, IVF has had positive effects on agriculture, allowing farmers to specialise their produce and therefore be more efficient in its production. However, the, tech the technology is not realistically going to be used worldwide, as it is, ex it is expensive to start, maintain and finish due to the high level of technology and expertise needed. Thank you.